I'm experimenting here with what is called a solar engine. This is just a toy motor windmill and it's attached to this circuit here. This circuit has two transistors, one a PNP and one a NPN transistor. For panel what it would do is it will charge up the capacitors then the windmill will start turning because the solar, the solar panel is so small ordinarily it wouldn't make that windmill turn so it the transistor controls the upper and the lower limit of the um, of the charging uh, and discharging when it charges up to 5 volts or so or actually um, a little over a volt and a half um, the motor will turn and then it will run until the voltage drops to about 0.7 and then um, it would charge up again uh, and the cycle repeats itself. Um, depending on the motor you use sometimes it won't turn until the voltage gets much higher because it, it takes more energy to start the motor and then once it's up and running it will take a lot less energy to run. Now the motor is slowing down until there's no energy left in the capacitors and then it will stop and then it will just get charged up. It will take a while depending on how strong the sun is and then the whole thing will start again. So uh, in a way this circuit enables something, a motor to start when, uh, when you don't have enough of a current or when the voltage is not uh, that high. So it's sort of like I guess a, a run capacitor in, in a bigger like a garage door opener motor or uh, maybe an air conditioner motor. So the sun has gone away, so this is still running because uh, it has the momentum until the energy is all gone. 